Good afternoon, folks. It's 11.52 a.m. on November 24th on a Sunday. Hope you're having a great day at church. This is the Word for Today, Part 1 for November 22nd, 2019. This is the Word for Today, Part 1, November 22nd, 2019. Let's go right into the Word. And today we're going to talk about God's favor. God's favor. This is at 7.45 p.m. on the 21st of November. And we've got many, many Bible verses that goes along with God's favor. So we have... Many examples is his favorite uh, with the people. Let's go ahead and go right into that. Genesis chapter 18, verse 3. Chapter 30, verse 27. Chapter 39, verse 21. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. Chapter 11, verse 3. Chapter 12, verse 36. Numbers 11, verse 11, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 24. Verse 1, chapter 28, verse 50, chapter 33, verse 23, the book of Joshua, 11 and 20, Ruth, 2 and 13, 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 26, chapter 16, verse 22, chapter 20, verse 29, chapter 25, verse 8, chapter 29, verse 6, 2 Samuel, 15 and 25. 1 Kings 11 and 19, Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 5, the book of Esther chapter 2 verses 15 and 17, chapter 5 verses 2 and 8, chapter 7 verse 3, and chapter 8 verse 5, Job chapter 10 verse 12, Psalm 5 and 12, 30 and 5, verse 7, 35 and 27, 30, uh, 44 and 33, I'm sorry, 44 and 33, no, I'm sorry, 44 and 3, 44 and 3, 45 and 12, 89 and 17, chapter 102, 13 and 14, chapter 106 and 4, chapter 109 and 12, chapter 112 verse 5, chapter 119 verse 58, Proverbs 3 and 4, and 8 and 35. But wait, there's more on the flip side. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 27. Chapter 12, verse 2. Chapter 13, verse 15. Chapter 14, verse 9. Chapter 35. Uh, oh, yeah, verse 35. I'm sorry. Chapter 14, verses 9 and 35. Chapter 16, verse 15. Chapter 18, verse 22. Chapter 19, verses 6 and 12. Chapter 21, verse 10. Chapter 22, verses, verse 1. Chapter 28, verse 23. Chapter 29, verse 26. And then finally, chapter 1, verse 30. Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 11. Song of Solomon, 8 and 10. Isaac, 26, 10. Chapter 27, verse 11. Chapter 60, verse 10. Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 13. Daniel, 1 and 9. Luke chapter 1 verse 30, chapter 2 verse 52, Acts chapter 2 verse 47, chapter 7 verses 10 and 46, and finally Acts chapter 25 verse 3. Okay, I went ahead and moved my table here into the better light so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 3. Okay, Genesis 18 and 3. And said, My Lord, if I have now found favor in your sight, do not pass on by your servant. Genesis chapter 30, verse 27. Genesis chapter 30, verse 27. And Laban said to him, Please stay, if I have found favor in your eyes, for I have learned by your experience that the Lord has blessed me for your sake. Genesis chapter 39, verse 21. Genesis chapter 39, verse 21. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. Exodus 3 and 21. And I will give... This people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall be when you go that you shall not go empty handed. Exodus chapter 11, verse 3. Exodus 11 and 3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of the Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of the people. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. Exodus 12 and 36. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, 
So they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. The book of Numbers, chapter 11, verse 11 and 15. Numbers 11 and 11. So Moses said to the Lord, Why have you afflicted your servant? And why have I not found favor in your sight, that you have laid the burden of all these people on me? Okay, folks, this is Moses speaking right here. If you treat me like this, please kill me right. Kill, if you treat me like this, please kill me here and now. If I have found favor in your sight, and do not let me see my wretchedness. That's Exodus chapter 11, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 1. Deuteronomy 24 and 1. When a man takes a wife and marries her, and it happens that she finds no favor in his eyes because he's found some uncleanness in her, and he writes a certificate of divorce, puts it in her hand, and sends out of her house. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 50. Deuteronomy 28 and 50. A nation of fierce countenance which does not respect the elderly nor show favor to the young. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23. And of Natathli he said, O Natathli, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south. The book of Joshua, chapter 11, verse 20. Joshua 11 and 20. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts that they should come against Israel in battle. And he might utterly destroy them that they might receive no mercy, but that he might destroy them as the Lord had commanded Moses. The book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 13. Ruth 2 and 13. Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for you have comforted me and have spoken kindly to your maidservant, though I am not like one of your maidservants. 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 26. 1 Samuel 2 and 26. And the child Samuel grew in stature and in favor both of the Lord and men. 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 22. 1 Samuel 16 and 22. Then Saul said to Jesse, saying, Please let David stand before me, for he has found savor in my sight. 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 29. 1 Samuel 20 and 29. And he said, Please let me go, for our family has a sacrifice in the city, and my brother has commanded me to be there. And now if I have found favor in your eyes, please let me get away and see my brothers. Therefore he has not come to the king's table. 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 8. 1 Samuel 25 and 8. Ask your young men, and they will tell you, Therefore let my young men find favor in your eyes, for we come on a feast day. Please give whatever comes to your hand to your servant and servants and to your son David. 1 Samuel 29 and 6. 1 Samuel chapter 29, verse 6. Then Ashes called David and said to him, Surely as the Lord lives, you have been upright, and you are going out, and you are coming with me, and the army is good in my sight. For this day I have found not evil in, your sense, in you since the day of your coming to me. Nevertheless, the Lord's do not favor you. Second Samuel, chapter 15, verse 25. Second Samuel, chapter 15, verse 25. Then the king said to Zadok, Carry the ark of God back into the city. If I find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he will bring me back and show me both it and his dwelling place. First Kings, chapter 11. Verse 19. First Kings chapter 11 verse 19. And Hadad found great favor in the sight of Pharaoh, so that he gave him as wife the sister of his own wife, that is, the sister of Queen Taphanes. The book of Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 5. Nehemiah 2 and 5. And I said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if, I, if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tombs, that I might, that I may rebuild it. The book of Esther, chapter 2, verses 15 and 17. Esther 2 and 15. Now when the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as her daughter to go in to the king, she requested nothing but what Haggai, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And Esther attained favor in the sight of all who saw her. Esther 2 and 17. The king loved Esther more than all the other women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all the all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Esther chapter 5 verse 2 and verse 8. Esther 5 and 2. So it was when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court that she found favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the gold scepter that was in his hand. Then Esther went near and touched the top of the scepter. Esther 2 and 8. 
Esther 2 and 8. If I have found favor in the sight of the king, if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, let the king and Haman come to the banquet which I will prepare for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king has said. The book of Esther, chapter 7, verse 3. Esther 7 and 3. Then the queen Esther answered and said, If I have found favor in your sight, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be given me at my petition and my people at my request. Esther chapter 8, verse 5. Esther 8 and 5. Now Esther spoke again to the king, fell down at his feet, and implored him with tears to counteract the evil of Haman, the Agadite, and the scheme which he had devised against the Jews. That's actually chapter, that's actually 8 and 3. Chapter 8, verse 3. Let's go to, let's go to verse 5. And it said, If it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seems right to the king, and I am pleasing his eyes, let it be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman, the son of Hamadah, the Agite, Agagite, which he wrote to annihilate the Jews who are in the who all who are in the who are in all the king's provinces. Job ten twelve. Job chapter ten. Job chapter ten verse twelve. You have granted me life and favor, and your care has preserved my spirit. Psalm chapter five verse twelve. Let me try that again. Psalm chapter five verse twelve. Psalm 5 and 12. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Psalm chapter 30, verses 5 and 7. Psalm 30 and 5. For his anger, for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. We even may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 30 and 7. Lord, by your favor you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, and I was troubled. Psalm 35, 27. Psalm chapter 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continuously, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm chapter 44, verse 3. Psalm 44 and 3. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. Psalm chapter 45, verse 12. Psalm 45 and 12. And the daughter of Tyr will come with a gift. The rich among the people will seek your favor. Psalm chapter 89, verse 17. Psalm 89 and 17. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favor our horn is exalted. Psalm chapter 102, verses 13 and 14. Psalm 102 and 13. For you will rise and have mercy on Zion. For the time to favor her, yes, the set time has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. That's uh, verse 14. Psalm chapter 106, verse 4. Psalm 106 and 4. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O visit me with your salvation. Psalm chapter 109, verse 12. Psalm 109 and 12. Let there be none to extend mercy to him. Nor let there be any let nor let there be any to favor his father's children. Psalm one twelve and five. Psalm chapter one twelve verse five. A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Psalm chapter one nineteen verse fifty eight. Psalm one nineteen and fifty eight. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. Proverbs three and four. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4, And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. Proverbs 8 and 35. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 27. Proverbs 11 and 27. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 2. Proverbs 12 and 2. A good man attains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 15. Proverbs 13, 15. Good understanding gains favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Proverbs chapter 14, verses 9 and 35. Proverbs 14 and 9. Fools mock at sin, but among their upright there is favor. Proverbs 14 and 35. 
The king's favor is toward a wise servant, but his wrath is against him who causes shame. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 15. Proverbs 16 and 15. In the light of the king's face is life, and his favor is like a cloud of the latter rain. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Proverbs 18 and 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 19, verses 6 and 12. Proverbs 19 and 6. Many entreat the favor of the nobility and every man who is a friend to one who gives gifts. Proverbs 19 and 12. Proverbs 19 and 12. The king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. Proverbs 21 and 10. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 10. The souls of the wicked desire evil. The souls of the wicked desires evil, but his neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. Proverbs 22 and 1. A good name is to be chosen rather than great bitches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 23. Proverbs 28 and 23. He who rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 26. Proverbs 29 and 26. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for man comes from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30. Proverbs 31 and 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Verse 11, Ecclesiastes 9.11, I returned and saw unto the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor the riches of the men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 10. Song of Solomon, 8 and 10. I am a wall, and my breast like towers, and became in his eyes as one who found peace. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 10. Isaiah 26, 10. Let grace be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness he will deal unjustly, and he will not and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Isaiah, chapter 27, verse 11. Isaiah 27, 11. When his paws are withered, they will be broken off. The woman come and set them on fire, for as a people of no understanding, therefore he who had made them will not have mercy on them, and he who formed them will show them no favor. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. Isaiah 60 and 10. The sons of foreigners shall build up your walls, and their kings shall minister to you. For my wrath I struck you, but in my favor I have had mercy on you. The book of Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 13. Jeremiah 16 and 13. Therefore I will cast you out of this land into a land that you do not know, neither you nor your fathers, and there you shall serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. The book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 9. Daniel 1 and 9. Now God had brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. Luke, chapter 1, verse 30. Luke 1 and 30. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke 2 and 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. The book of Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Acts 2 and 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Acts chapter 7, verse 10, and verse 46. Acts 7 and 10, And delivered him out of all his troubles, and gave him favor and wisdom, in the presence of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. Acts 7 and 46, Who found favor before God, and asked to find a dwelling for the God of Jacob. Finally, the book of Acts, chapter 25, verse 3. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse ah, the book of Acts chapter 25 verse 3 25 and 3 asking a favor against him that he would summon him to Jerusalem while they lay in ambush along the road to kill him. 
Okay, folks and family, that's it for right now. That's it for the Word for Today, Part 2, for November 22nd, 2019. That's the Word for Today, Part 2, November 22nd, 2019. I thank you for your 20 minutes of time. Thank you for everything. Thanks for being with me all this time. God bless you all. Everyone have a great day, a great Sunday. Remember, Jesus loves you. God loves you, and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming for you very soon. Get ready. I love you all very much. God bless you all in everything you do. Have a great day. Have a blessed week. Take care of yourselves. I love you all very much. And I'll see you on the next video for part three. The Word for Day part three for November 22nd, 2019. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye for now.